Hi, I'm Linda Kelly with the Kelly Mental Health Foundation and I'm here to share some tips and tricks for how to survive and flourish during the isolation related to the pandemic. I have Kelly Graham with me today and today we're going to be talking about spiraling. So spiraling is a, a little bit of a, a word we've been throwing around all week uh, and it's just meant to describe the feeling of essentially panicking. Yes. Right? So how to deal with this sense of spiraling and where is that coming from? And so one of the things that you brought up is it can be coming from a sense that you are catastrophizing. So tell me, what does that mean, catastrophizing? So catastrophizing is seeing only the worst possible outcome of the situation. So catastrophizing could be looking at all these shutdowns being, oh my God, I'm going to get laid off. I'm going to be laid off for months and months on end and I'm going to lose my job and I'm going to be homeless and I'm going to die on the street. So it's jumping from A to Z mm -hmm. without going anywhere in between and it's just focusing on that and spiraling to the worst possible outcome. Mm -hmm. So that catastrophizing is just our ability, it, it can be seen as an ability I suppose, to use our anxiety to see the worst possible outcome. Yes. But the problem is that when we fixate on that outcome, what does it do to us? It can be self-fulfilling and that we kind of go down and go, okay, what's the worst possible outcome? And if that's the only outcome we see, sadly our lives start falling into that. But it also blinds us from every, th every other option that could be available, everything else that could be happening. It makes us stress about what's happening. It makes us anxious. It makes us stressed physically and emotionally and mentally and just slowly eats at us and deteriorates our mental health. Have you ever experienced that sense of spiraling? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody has at one point. And I mean, especially right now when things are so uncertain, I think a lot of people are spiraling right now because everything's uncertain. So you're playing the what if game. You know, what if this lasts for months? What if this lasts for years? What if I'm laid off and I can't do this? What if? And that can lead to spiraling. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that spiraling quite a lot, uh, especially not necessarily catastrophizing of like, okay, this is, you know, for me, I, I don't kind of go there, mm -hmm. but it's more just all of the very uh, urgent what ifs. Yes. Like what if this, what if this way, you know, I, I need to do these things. I need to do these things. We need to just keep pushing, like, you know, just trying to help everybody, but then also having zero control over yeah. what is happening uh, in terms of the, the shutdowns and the layoffs and, you know, what's considered an essential service, what's not. Yeah. Um, and you can just get stuck in that mindset. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that can, it's surprising though that you mentioned it can actually actually lead to these things yeah. you know because if you say I'm, I'm worried about being laid off and you may start acting in a manner that uh, actually makes you kind of jump to the front of the line for being laid off yeah right? there's uh, or even you know spending your money because you're just like okay well this is the end anyway but then you end up having money problems yeah right? absolutely okay so how can you stop yourself from catastrophizing from spiraling out and having these panic attacks the first thing is hopefully noticing that you're doing it noticing okay i'm getting really negative i'm getting really stressed i'm getting really anxious what's going on in my mind so trying to realize what you're spiraling about right now it's important to take breaks from the news to take breaks from social media because with everything going on you're just going to keep spiraling there's only so much information out there there's not more coming out every single minute, mm -hmm. so you don't need to listen or watch or read every single minute, limiting that. And even in your own life, what if, okay, so what if that does happen? What if you are laid off? Then what? Well, you can apply for EI, hopefully, and if not, there's this other benefit that can hopefully cover you as well. Looking at, okay, so what if this happens, but what if this doesn't happen? What if... I do this other option instead and it actually works out mm -hmm. and kind of questioning things in your life you know what are the chances of this working out what are the chances of my catastrophe coming true mm -hmm. you know okay so I do get laid off doesn't mean I'm fired doesn't mean I'm never going back to my job you know look in a year I'll probably be fine five years ten years I'll be okay because this isn't the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. It's the most likely scenario. Mm -hmm. 
So you're you're really going from a what if to an even if yes. mentality. It sounds like you know if this does happen, I'm not just getting stuck on what if and then I panic. What if mm. and then that's it. It's a what if and then these are the next steps I will take. Yeah. And that in itself probably gets rid of that anxiety. Absolutely, because it helps you feel more prepared for if that thing happens. And if it doesn't happen, great. Mm -hmm. But then you're able to have that preparedness. Perfect, so then you're, if you are spiraling out, then one of the best things that you can do is First of all, figure out that you are spiraling. Yep. <laughs> Try to figure out what are the chances that this actually does happen. And then yep. if it does, this is what I will do. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing this uh, information. This tidbit is very helpful. We'll see you next time.